What's up DC Nation? So it's time for me to predict the uh, Redskins 2018 record, what I think the Redskins are going to do, why I think they're going to win or lose this game. So without further ado, let's get started. So week one, we're going to the desert. We're going to be going up against the Cardinals, a team who used to be in our division. So I think we're going to win this game pretty easily, mainly because the Cardinals got a rookie quarterback, and we got Alex Smith from the Chiefs, so I can see us winning this game pretty easily. Uh, Adrian Peterson, he's not the running back he used to be, so I think Robert Kelly's got the edge on him. Arizona's got no wide receivers since Larry Fitzgerald retired. So, uh, But with that being said, you know, Washington, I don't know if, if we got wide receivers. I know we got Paul Richardson from the Seahawks. We'll see how he does. And we also drafted some new wide receivers, so we'll see We'll see what the wide receivers decide to do on week one. Uh, the Cardinals' defense isn't too, too bad, but, you know, the Redskins, you know, they got they pretty much have everything better than the Cardinals right now except for a field goal kicker. That's the only problem the Redskins have uh, pretty much throughout most of the season is just a field goal kicker because I really don't trust Dustin Hopkins. So, anyway, I think we're going to win this game. I know it's been like six years since we last won the first game of the season 2012 was the last time we started off uh, 1-0 before we uh, lost our next game usually we start off the season 0-1 before we win our first game but this year I see us going uh, starting off at 1-0 alright uh, week 2 we have a home game against the Colts and the Colts they've been garbage the last three years and I didn't see the Colts pick up anybody so I don't see the Colts being a threat to the Redskins at all. Um, so we should be 2-0, which would be the first time since 2011. Um, week 3, home game against the Packers. Now, that's probably going to be our first blemish on our record just because we the Packers are a complete different team with Aaron Rodgers than when he's hurt. Because if he's hurt, I would say we, went, we would win this game. But he's... You know, he's healthy, and unless he gets hurt, then I can't see the Redskins winning this game because the Packers are a whole different team when he's on the when he's healthy. So we'll probably lose to the Packers. Now, if we would have had, you know, a little bit anger built in us like we did from when we got eliminated from the playoffs, you know, a couple of years ago, then, yeah, I can see us beating the Packers, which is why we beat them in 2016 because we had – that momentum but you know we beat the Packers two years ago and so I don't see us beating the Packers this time I could be wrong though um, week four we go to New Orleans to play the Saints and I know we're gonna win this game for uh, for a fact because considering the Saints cheated last time when we went up against them you know people said oh the Redskins blew a 15 point lead no we didn't the referees blew the 15 point lead plus the Saints they don't know what Matt Jones is like we got a better quarterback now, and plus the Saints, you don't know if their defense is, yeah, their defense is good some years, and then some years it's garbage, so you, you can never tell what the Saints defense is going to do, but I got the advantage on us just because of what happened last year, so we should be 3-1 and one right there. All right, uh, week five, we have a home game against the Panthers, and I think we're going to win this game because... We're not playing in Charlotte. They're coming to Landover, so I don't think the Panthers, you know, they've completely gone downhill from what they did three years ago when they won the NFC. So I say we win that game and prove to 4-1. Uh, week 6, home game against the Cowboys. Okay, this game, you know this game's going to piss me off. Oh, man, the last two years the Cowboys have swept the Redskins and then people are already predicting that the Cowboys are going to sweep the Redskins for a third straight year? I don't think so. I say the Redskins are going to win this game unless turnovers is a problem. So, anyway, I got us improving to 5-1. and one. All right, so game seven, we go to East Rutherford to play the Giants. And the Giants, they're in the wrong direction right now, so I see us winning that game as well and improving to 6-1. and one. Uh, game 8, we have a home game against the Atlanta Falcons. That's probably going to be a loss just because the Falcons, you know, they're, they're, they're a hard team to take down. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I mean, we're not playing in Atlanta, so we got the advantage, but the Falcons are going to come prepared. 
And so, I just, I don't know, guys. We, we may win this game. We may, I, I don't know. I mean, but I, I'm just predicting that as a loss because I'm kind of trying to sound realistic. I mean, I can't just go on here and say, oh, we're going to go undefeated, you know. I mean, I'm kind of trying to be realistic here. So, anyway, 6-2 and two through the first half of the season. Uh, game 9, we go to Tampa to play the Buccaneers. I see us winning this game because Deshaun Jackson's an overrated quarterback. He doesn't throw to Deshaun Watson. He doesn't hand off the run the ball to uh, whoever that running back out of Boise State is. So, you know, this ought to be a win. We've had some memorial games, mem memorable games against the Buccaneers. And I want to say the last time we played them, we were down 24 to nothing. We came back and won the game 31 to 30. Which way? Hang on. I'm, I'm recording a video. Okay. So I got us winning this game and improving to 7 and 2. All right, game 10, we have a home game against the Houston Texans. Um, Deshaun Watson, I don't see him as a threat. I saw him play last year. I didn't think he did he, he did what I thought he was going to do, so the Texans shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I know J.J. Watt's coming back, and that's going to spice up the Texans' uh, defense. But the Texans, they don't have an offense, so I think we're going to win this game and improve to 8-2. and two. Uh, game 11, we'll go to Arlington to play the Cowboys, and we're probably going to split it with the Cowboys just because the game's being played in Dallas or in the Cowboys Stadium. So that should be eight and three. All right, next we got the Eagles in Philadelphia, and that's pro I, I know that's going to be a loss. We'll probably fall to eight and four right there, just because. The Eagles, you know, the referees in Philadelphia are shit, which is why the Eagles want, went to the Super Bowl that year. You know, so, yeah, we'll lose that game. And then next, home game against the Giants. We'll, we'll uh, So we got three straight rival games, but we'll go ahead and beat the Giants and improve to 9-4. and four. And by that point, we should have clinched a playoff spot. Uh, next, we're going to go to Jacksonville to play the Jaguars, and I think that's probably going to be a loss. Or actually, let me go ahead and tell you guys one thing. We got the Jaguars in Jacksonville, and we got the Titans in Nashville back-to-back -back games. We'll win one, and we'll lose one. So, I don't know which one we're going to win. Whoever we win against, we're going to lose to the other. Either we'll beat the Jaguars and lose to the Titans, or we'll beat the Titans loose to the Jaguars, but we're not going to lose both those games, and I don't think we're going to win both those games. All right, and then the last game of the season is a home game before the, um, before the playoffs. We have a home game against the Eagles, and by that point, the Eagles are probably going to be resting their starters for the playoffs, and I got us winning that game. So with that prediction being said, I see the Redskins going 11-5 and this year. I think we're going to win the division. I, I mean, mainly because nobody in the NFC East has repeated as division champions for the this whole decade, the 2010s. From 2010 until 2017, nobody in the NFC East has repeated as back-to-back -back champions. And a lot of people are predicting the Eagles to do it just because they won the Super Bowl last year, which was a complete fluke. You know, everybody, I, I mean, if you guys... There's a video on YouTube called Did Bill, Bill Belichick Throw the Super Bowl Away? And I will tell you guys this. Eagle fans, if you're watching this, you guys got lucky winning that Super Bowl. Here's why. The Patriots were trailing by 25 points in Super Bowl 51, made adjustments, came back, won the Super Bowl. And then they decide, they refused to make adjustments when, we, when they went up against your team when they were only down by 8. So if the Patriots can come back by 25 points... Don't go out and say, oh, you know, we were too good for the Eagles. Because eight points is nothing compared to the Patriots coming back from a 28-3 deficit. That's how you knew the Patriots threw the Super Bowl away. I'm not going to say your team is a bad team, Eagles fans. You guys are good, but you're overrated. You got bullshit referees to help you out. And as a result, that's how you got to the Super Bowl. And the Patriots are mad because they lost Jimmy Garoppolo. That's why you guys won the Super Bowl. And I promise, I will make a bet with every Eagle fan out there re telling you guys that you're not going to repeat as Super Bowl champs. I can promise you that. So, and I, I don't even think the Eagles are going to repeat as division champs. But if they do, they're not going to repeat as Super Bowl champs unless they have home field advantage. You know, but I promise you, if Philly, if Philly goes back to the Super Bowl, they're going to lose it. 
but I don't think they're going to go that far. Anyway, that's my 2018 Redskins prediction. I got us going 11-5, making the playoffs. I say we win the division, maybe go to the playoffs as the four seed, and then, you know, we'll see who we play. Maybe we'll go up against, uh, I don't know, we may go up against the Eagles in the wild card, could go up against the Saints, the Panthers, Falcons. I don't know. Who sees? Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys uh, when the regular season starts when we go up against the Arizona Cardinals.